My name is Charlotte Chafee. I'm the archivist at the Royal Ontario Museum. My job is primarily to care for the institutional memory of the ROM. The ROM archives has minutes, exhibition records, photographs, sound recordings, electronic files, and architectural drawings. In normal times, the archives can be accessed by the public in the Richard Wernham and Julia West Library and Archives reading room. Today, I'm speaking to you from my home. When the museum is open, visitors can choose to enter through either the Michael Leachin Crystal entrance off Bloor Street or the Weston entrance off Queen's Park. Visitors coming to the Weston entrance will notice the beautiful and ornate carvings around the entrance. I've had many questions over the years about what these carvings mean. Do they represent specific people or stories? This part of the museum was built in the, the early 1930s. At that time, it was popular to use allegorical sculpture to decorate the exterior of buildings. Allegory means a picture or figure that can be interpreted to mean something. The figures are not meant to represent actual people. They represent ideas about the wrong. The archives has a letter from the architect, Alfred Chapman, who explained the symbolism of the carvings. The central panel over the main entrance has a seated figure representing the liberal arts and science. She holds the coat of arms of the province of Ontario on one side and the University of Toronto on the other. At the time of construction, the ROM was a part of the University of Toronto. The space on the right of the figure is made up of elements which are meant to represent early North American history, including a crest pole and bison. And on the left is a winged bull of Babylon, which is meant to represent the East. Looking further to the right and left, we can see owls, which represent wisdom and knowledge. Surrounding the seated figure is a circular band with the signs of the zodiac. The lintel just below this figure has a procession of gnomes representing workers. This acknowledgement of the building trades was common in 1930s display. The four hooded figures just above the doors represent four different arts, metalwork or armory, music, literature, and pottery. At the base to the right and left of the entrance is the Rom's old motto, the arts of man through all the years, the record of nature through countless ages. If you walk north on Queen's Park to Bloor Street and look up, you'll see another carving. Right now it's covered up for restoration. The carvings on the north depict the transmission of knowledge through books. In the left panel, there's an early printing press with handset type. Two printers are shown. In the taller center panel, an old scholar, his hand on an early book with clasps and a pupil are shown. In the right panel, two women are depicted looking up information in books. Two smaller panels placed on each side of the three main ones show books on library shelves and bands of carvings around the arch depict animals. These scenes represent the search for knowledge, the dissemination of knowledge, education, and the study of nature, all central functions of the museum. I hope that next time you visit, you take a look up and see these remarkable carvings for yourself. <laughs>